Hello, class six students. I have come again with the same lesson of unit one, section one, the base of the ball. And I have already told you that this is about job advertisement. And uh, I told how you will be using these guys states one after another. First was about about the job where you will be describing the nature and where the job is. Next uh, is uh, other duties may include their your form, feeding the fish, clean the pool, collect the mail, these things you form. Then you found about the package. About the package there we found we came to know about the salary for six months, then return airfare, then the computer, internet, digital video and all these facilities. Now, the last three points that you will have to include in the job advertisement about the location. Now, this job is for Great Barrier Reef Islands. And here you will find the location of the Great Barrier Reef. It is mentioned here about the location. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia stretches, means sprays over 2600 kilometers. And it spreads over what, what amount of uh, area that is 2600 kilometers. And it is composed of 2,900 individual reefs. How many reefs? 2,900 individual reefs. And 900 islands are there. So, in that location of Great Barrier Reef, you will find what? It stretches over 2,600 kilometers. It is composed of 2,900 individual reefs. And there are 900 islands and you will find a diversity of wildlife including whales, dolphins, sea turtles and more than 1500 species of fish. Then what wildlife you will be finding there? The whales, the sea turtles, dolphins, and more than 1,500 species of fish. And this is a very popular and uh, this is very popular. The reef, the barrier, great barrier reef is very popular and it witnesses 2 million visitors each year. Every year, 2 million people go to see or go to visit the Great Barrier Reef Islands. Okay, this is there about the location. Next point is education and experience requirement. Here I have mentioned one, two, three, four, four points, but in the book there are Eight points a day. So I have not included all the eight points, but I will be telling now. First point is excellent interpersonal communication skills. First point is very important. It is about interpersonal communication skills. What you understand by that? That when how we deal with other people, how we communicate with other persons. That skill is very much important here. The next point is good verbal and written English skills. The candidate who will get the job should have very good verbal means talking and uh, writing English skills. He should write English very nicely and he should talk very nicely. The third point is and adventurous attitude. The person who will get the job must have 
an adventurous attitude. His attitude should be adventurous. Adventurous means he should take risk. He, he should take up risky deeds. That is meant by adventurous attitude. Then fourth point is the willingness to try new things. He should always be trying to do something new. That he has to be a, an innovator. He should innovate new things. Then fifth point I am reading out from the book. It is a passion for the outdoors. Some people have the tendency to uh, sit idle inside their houses, but the person who will get the job, job should have a passion, should have an interest for outdoors. He should have the passion to go outside his house. Then next point is good swimming skills and an enthusiasm for snorkeling and or diving. Now, snorkeling, a new word we have found here, its meaning is swimming just under the surface of the water while breathing through, the, through a tube. That is the meaning. What is the meaning? Swimming just under the surface of the water while breathing through a tube. So, the person should have good swimming skills and an enthusiasm, great interest for snorkeling or swimming under water with the help of a tube, then uh, dive these abilities the person should have. Then the next point is the ability to engage with others. Now he should be able to adjust with others, engage himself with others. The last point is at least one year's relevant experience is required. At least one year's relevant which is related to that Great Barrier Reef Islands should the person should have experience. Now the last point of this lesson, how to apply. There you will find two steps. In the first step, it is mentioned, create a video in less than 60 seconds, uh, video application telling why you are the best person for the job. If you are applying for that base job in the ball, then in your application you should write why you are the best person for that job. That is what is required and with that you must write or make a video in less than 60 seconds you have to tell them. Then the second point, fill out an application form and upload your video to a link is given www.islandreefio.com So when you will be writing a job advertisement you will be giving a link or contact number for the candidates to submit their forms. So this is given here. Something more is there. Application open on 9th January 2 p.m. So when that uh, from when the applications will be received, that date has to be mentioned. And when it will come to an end, closer date, that also you will have to mention. And here it is mentioned. It is opened on 9th January 2 p.m. From 2 p.m. onwards, it will go up to uh, 22nd February 2009, 11.59 p.m. Next is, 11 candidates will be invited to the islands of the Great Barrier Reef for an interview. How many candidates? Of all will be invited? 11 candidates, not all. 11 candidates will be selected and they will be invited to the islands of the Great Barrier Reef for an interview from the 3rd to the 7th of May 2009. They will face some viva there. And uh, that will go on from 3rd to the 7th of May 2009. So if you want the best job in the world, you will need to be available to travel to Queensland for the final interview selection process.
you will also need to be available to start work on 1st July 2009. So before 1st July 2009, you have to be available there so that you can start your work. For information and to apply, please visit that previous uh, address again is given for further details you can contact that email address. So here the lesson comes to an end. Hope you understood. Students, now after this class, we will be moving on to the region answer type questions. Then grammar check is there in the lesson. Then writing skill is also there. We will be dealing with that in the future classes. So till then, goodbye. Thank you.